Most people don't realize how much work it takes to move until you actually go through it yourself. And after years of accumulation, it can get overwhelming, especially when you're on the clock. While you may not plan to sell this quarter or next year, if you are a loved one or even thinking about it, plan it out, make it a family event, and take advantage of some cost-effective, environmentally friendly ways. Hi everyone, my name is Claire Lee and I'm a real estate agent with Royal LePage Terra Equity here in York Region, Markham, Canada. Thank you so much for being here and welcome back to the channel. If you find any of this information useful, all I ask is that you hit that like button and please consider hitting that subscribe button as well. You can also reach out by emailing me directly for a detailed breakdown of your neighborhood or contact our team to sign up for regular market updates. The links are below. Did you know that junk removal services and moving companies charge by weight? So the more stuff you have when it comes time to move, be prepared it could add up and cost you more money than you think. In this video, I'm going to share with you five tips to save you money before moving based on my own personal experiences and best practices. Number one, sell your stuff online. Since Kijiji first launched in 2005, my circle of friends and family have all safely sold and bought items online. It is easy and free. Simply create an account, take some good photos, and when there's a match, exercise caution when you meet in person for the exchange. I have personally sold items as large as a three-person sofa, a queen-size mattress, bikes, and just this past weekend, I sold my son's gently used soccer cleats that he's now outgrown. Remember, what may no longer be useful to you might be to somebody else. Everything is negotiable. Number two, donations. In my family, our household rule is if you haven't used it in the last 18 months, chances are you will never use it again. So why not give it to someone out there who could use it and extend the life cycle? We like to purge and donate regularly. My kids and I go through their clothes once a quarter to see what still fits and what doesn't. For the stuff that doesn't fit, we sort them into piles to see who we can pass them along to. Although it may sound insignificant, it makes me so happy to see a perfectly good kid's jacket be worn and passed through five kids. We also partner with other families. We've been very lucky enough to be the recipient of families with older kids who have passed down many items to my kids. So for example, sports equipment, jackets, clothes, toys, it's helped tremendously over the years because kids really do grow up fast. Number three, free recycling. Remember those empty paint cans just sitting in your basement? Or maybe you have an ancient TV just collecting dust now. Chances are, if you really think about it, you probably have at least one or two old laptops or smartphones taking up space in a drawer right now. Whatever those items may be for you, take advantage of your local municipality drop-off locations for free recycling for proper recycling and disposal. Simply check online for the rules, hours of operations, and make it a short trip. Here in the city of Markham, though, you must be a resident and they do ask for identification, such as your driver's license. Number four, free bulky item pickup. For those of you in York region, please check with your local municipality on the rules as they may vary. Here in the city of Markham, you can simply go online, enter your address, and find out when the city will be collecting bulky items for free. I have personally seen them collect bulky items such as sofas, mattresses, headboards, and those big, heavy power reclining chairs. In our neighborhood, we also have folks driving around in pickup trucks collecting items from people's curbs as well. This is a true story. Just this past weekend, my husband and I had put an old bulky fireplace on the curb in preparation for the city pickup schedule on Tuesday. And in less than 48 hours, someone had taken it. Maybe the metal frame of the fireplace could be repurposed. Who knows? Number five, free garbage pickup. For those of you in York region, please check with your local municipality on the rules, plan it out, and look for those unlimited collection days. Here in the city of Markham, as I'm recording this, garbage pickup is every other week. And as far as I know, there are no limits, unlike the city of Toronto. This is a true story. Last year, my husband and I had put out several bins of rotted wood from our backyard deck that we were demolishing over the course of a month. It was a DIY project and we were not in a rush to get rid of it. But had we been, it would have easily cost us hundreds of dollars based on its weight. 
By decluttering regularly, you've taken the biggest step in preparing your home for sale. It's also a fantastic way to get kids involved early and learn about recycling and money management. That's it for me. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Claire Lee and remember, Claire Lee clearly is the right choice to achieving your real estate goals.